A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a dramatic escalation of hostilities, Russian officials reported that more than 100 Ukrainian drones were shot down over various regions of Russia on Sunday. This unprecedented drone barrage has resulted in significant damage, including a wildfire and a fire in a high-rise apartment block. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, a total of 125 drones were intercepted overnight across seven regions, marking one of the largest aerial assaults seen since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The southwestern Volgograd region faced the brunt of the drone attacks, with Russian air defenses successfully downing 67 drones. The Voronezh region also experienced heavy drone activity, with 17 drones reported in the area. Falling debris from these drones caused damage to an apartment building and a private residence, as confirmed by local governor Alexander Guzov. Social media footage captured the alarming sight of flames erupting from the top floor of a high-rise building, though fortunately, no casualties have been reported thus far. In addition to the damage in Voronezh, 18 drones were intercepted over the Rostov region, where Dabri ignited a wildfire. Governor Vasily Galyabev assured that the fire, which spread across 20 hectares, 49.4 acres, of forest, posed no immediate threat to populated areas, but emergency services were actively engaged in extinguishing the blaze. Meanwhile, the ongoing conflict has also seen severe repercussions for Ukraine. In the southern city of Zaporizhia, a series of Russian airstrikes resulted in injuries to 16 civilians. Ukrainian military officials had previously warned that Moscow might be gearing up for a new military offensive in southern Ukraine. The city was targeted by guided bombs in 10 separate attacks, leading to damage of residential buildings and potentially trapping more individuals beneath the rubble. Regional Governor Ivan Fedorov reported the extent of the devastation on his official Telegram channel, while President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that the strikes had compromised the city's transport links and infrastructure. Zelensky, who attended a memorial service commemorating the 83rd anniversary of the Babinyar massacre, drew parallels between the historical atrocities and the current situation, emphasizing the need for a global response to prevent such violence. The Babinyar ravine in Kiev is notorious for the mass execution of nearly 34,000 Jews in just 48 hours during Nazi occupation in 1941. Babinyar is vivid proof of the atrocities that regimes are capable of when led by leaders who rely on intimidation and violence, Zelensky stated. He urged the world to learn from history and to safeguard humanity, life, and justice. In light of the recent drone activity, Ukrainian military officials indicated that Russian forces might be preparing for further offensive operations in the Zaporizhia region. Spokesperson for Ukraine's Southern Military Command, Vladislav Alishin, reported that Russian personnel were being amassed in this area. Meanwhile, Ukraine's Air Force reported the launch of 22 Russian drones overnight, with 15 intercepted in the regions of Sumy, Vinnytsia, Mykolaiv, and Odessa, while five were destroyed through electronic defenses. The fate of the remaining two drones remains unclear. The ongoing conflict continues to escalate, with both sides preparing for intensified military operations as tensions rise in the region. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.